The Mini Jane doll by Integrity Toys is one of those grail items for many collectors out. She's 12 inches tall and she uses a variation of the original Jean Marshall doll sculpt, but nowadays she sells for about twice as much as a regular Integrity Toys doll and can go for as much as 10 times the price of a standard Jean. So why is that? What makes this such a special doll? The first thing to remember is that Integrity Toys is a luxury brand. The packaging that this doll comes in is absolutely exquisite. It's one of those display boxes that just makes me want to keep it. The way that it demonstrates her logo and details on the outside, um, but nonetheless includes this large display window in order to show the doll is just something I love in a box. It means that you can take her out, but you can also put her back in. You can display her perfectly without removing her fully from the box. The back of the box is also highlighting so many wonderful things about Jean. It harks back to the 16 inch doll produced by Integrity Toys and it includes lots of details and photographs. So this is a really beautiful package. The labelling on the box shows that this doll comes from the Hollywood Royalty Collection. There were four Jean Marshalls produced as part of the Hollywood Royalty Collection, and there were also several other dolls in this series. All of the dolls represented something that we had previously seen. So with the Jean dolls, they each represented but recreated a fashion that we had seen in an earlier doll produced by the Ashton Drake companies. This particular doll is called Blue Caprice, and she is a reinterpretation of the original Blue Goddess Jane. But as you can see, her dress has been elaborately decorated and extended to make her a real collector's piece. The other jeans in this series were Midnight Lace, who was a reinvention of the pinup jean, Red Desire, who reinvented Red Venus, and Hometown Hollywood, who reinvented the Hello Hollywood Hello doll. Each of these was a special reinterpretation that created an elaborate design that would really appeal to collectors. One of the things that was special about the original Jean dolls by Ashton Drake was that they would always have an incredible elaborate hairstyle. And I love that these dolls also reinvent that idea and take it along with the Integrity Toys um, elaboration. In particular, I love the detailing on this dress. The ruching, the folds and the beading just make this a work of art. As is typical with Integrity Toys dolls, another thing we see is incredible detail in the shoes and accessories. Always expect really high quality from these and this doll really shows that. We have um, extra accessories in the box, including some special jewelry for her and gloves with extra beading. The inside panel holding the doll slips out with no issues, meaning that we can detach this doll without any problems and also meaning that we can see her COA without needing to debox her fully. Again, it's that attention to detail, not only in the doll and the accessories, but also in the box that makes these really special. I mentioned that there were only four releases of this doll from um, the Hollywood Royalty Collection. She was never released again. And if we have a look at her certificate of authenticity, it's a reminder that she is one of only 250. So this doll is number 33 of 250. Now, one of the dolls had slightly larger release numbers, but four by 250 is only a thousand. And that means they are in existence only slightly more than a thousand of these mini jeans. And I think that begins to explain why they are so difficult to get because across the world, there are only a little more than a thousand of these dolls ever. Not only that, but these jeans were released in 2009, meaning that they're also nearly 15 years old now. So 15 years of collectors to fight over only 1,000 dolls is pretty significant. Free from her box, we can better see her exquisite outfit and how neatly it drapes and covers her. Everything has been finished with absolutely incredible attention to detail. 
One thing I especially adored taking her out of the box was noticing the stand she came with. It is similar to a regular Integrity toy stand, but it recreates the original Ashton Drake jean stand, as you can see here. Drawing back to Jean's incredible heritage from Mel Odom and Ashton Drake. Another thing I love is that the doll's makeup style also recreates the styling chosen by Ashton Drake for their original dolls. As you can see, this was an iconic makeup styling that was used for a huge number of Jean releases. Close up, we can even see um, although the mini jeans colouring is slightly different from this example of Jean, that the lip styling is exactly the same and the eyes also show that same smoky blue colouring and the same detailing for the eyebrows. And that helps to highlight one of the reasons why this doll is so sought after. She really appeals to collectors of the original Jean Marshall doll and even 16 inch collectors who've loved this doll are going to absolutely fall head over heels for the mini Jean as well. And she is such a faithful reproduction, but in miniature. But not only is she hugely appealing to collectors of Jean Marshall, she's also hugely appealing to collectors of 12 inch integrity toys. As you can see here, she is perfectly scaled to other integrity toys. She seems to have the Poppy Parker body who came out in the same year as Jean Marshall. Um, the doll to her left has a new face body. They look wonderful together and show the same attention to detail that we can see in all of those Integrity Toys dolls. With incredible clothing, accessories, and of course, shoes. Many 12 inch Integrity Toys dolls, even not from the Jean Marshall line from this era, go for extremely high prices on the secondary market now because they are really rare and hard to come upon and because they do show a piece of history of the Integrity Toys company, which is so popular and so revered by collectors. As with all Integrity Toys dolls, this lady also poses beautifully and that makes her fantastic for not only display but also play. And yes, collectors play as well. I don't know that I would ever want to redress this lady as her outfit is just so perfect for her. But I definitely think that she would love to live on a shelf and pose and um, be with other similar dolls demonstrating clothing from this era. Although it does make it hard to get hold of one of these dolls that they are so rare to find and go for such high prices. At the same time, that is something that makes them especially special and really can be the centerpiece of your collection. I think that this is an absolutely perfect doll. There is very little that I would change about her and I can completely understand why collectors go crazy for this lady and why her prices are really quite high on the secondary market. She's rare, she is exquisite and she appeals to such a wide range of collectors. She is a truly incredible doll.